Question 1. What are the uses of NTDS UTIL tool? Answer. Some of the main uses of NTD Sutil tool, or authoritative restore, authoritatively restores the Active Directory Database or ADLDS instance or IFM, create installation media for writable and RODC setups, offline DC provisioning, or metadata cleanup, cleans up objects of decommissioned servers or roles, transfers and seizures operations master roles or set DSRM password, resets DSRM administrator password, or snapshot, manages snapshots of the volumes that contain the Active Directory database and log files. Question 2. What is VMCP? Answer. VMCP is VMware Component Protection. This new feature in 6.0 ensures that VMs are rebooted in other servers during APD or PDL situations. Question 3. What are the various memory states in ESXi? Answer. Oh high oh clear oh soft oh hard oh low. Question 4. What are the two deployment models of PSC? Answer. Embedded and external or embedded if PSC is installed in vCenter box or external if PSC is installed outside vCenter in separate box. Question 5. What is PSC? Answer. Oh PSC is platform service controller or oh, this is an extended SSO model which was there in pre 6.0 versions or oh, it takes care of authentication, licensing, certificates etc. Question 6. What if reconnecting the ESXi host back to an EVC cluster fails? Answer. Oh make a note of the VM folders or remove the ESXi host from the inventory or add the ESXi host directly to the vCenter outside the EVC cluster or now move the server to the EVC cluster or add the VMs back to the folders. Question 7. What is DAS? How is it connected to the server? Answer. DAS is direct attached storage. DAS is available with many vendors. When a server has exhausted all its storage resource, we can connect a DAS solution to it. DAS can be connected to a server using Shash cable. Question 8. How can I change the EVC mode of an existing cluster? Answer. You need to shut down all running VMs in that cluster to change the EVC mode. Question 9. What are the sub-plugins in NMP? Answer. OSATP and PSP are the two sub-plugins of NMP. OSATP or storage array type plugins take care of the failover mechanism of data store and keeps track of paths available to a loom or data store or PSP or path selection plugins determines which physical path should be used to issue I.O. requests to a storage device. Question 10. What is NMP and its role in VMware? Answer. O oh, NMP is native multipath plugin or oh, it is the default multipath plugin in VMware or oh, managers physical path claiming and inclaiming or oh, registers and they registers logical devices or oh, associates physical paths with logical devices or oh, processes IO requests to logical devices. Question 11. What is pluggable storage architecture in VMware? Answer. Oh, to manage storage multipathing, ESX, ESXi uses a special VM kernel layer called pluggable storage architecture, PSA, or handles IO queuing to the logical devices. Handles physical path discovery and removal. Question 12. How to promote a server to domain controller in Windows Server 2012? Answer. ODCPROMO was the conventional tool used to promote a normal server to DC. This is now deprecated in Server 2012. Oh, in Server 2012, you can convert a server into DC using the Server Manager console. Under Server Manager, add a new role, Active Directory Domain Services. Question 13. What is IPAM server in Windows Server 2012? Answer. IPAM is IP address management server in Windows Server 2012. It enables central management of both DHCP and DNS servers. It can also be used to discover, monitor, and audit DHCP and DNS servers. Question 14. In vSphere 5.5, VM kernel pod group can be used for? Answer. OV motion or fault tolerance logging or management traffic. Question 15. How to upgrade ESXi 5.1 to ESXi 5.5? Answer. Oh using vSphere Update Manager or upgrade interactively using the ESXi installer ISO image on CD, DVD or flash drive or using vSphere Auto Deploy or using ESXCLI command line interface. 
Question 16. DSET stands for Answer. Dell Server A Support Tool DSET provides the ability to collect hardware, storage and operating system information from Dell PowerEdge Server. Question 17. How to update Dell Server BIOS? Answer. Dell provides the update in different file formats, one for Windows, one for Linux. If it is a VMware server, then download the non-packaged X format from Dell website and copy it to a DOS bootable USB drive. Shut down the server and boot from USB drive and execute the file. Question 18. What if all GC in the environment are down? Answer. OGC is required for multi-domain forests. In a single domain infrastructure, the DCs will not contact the GC for authenticating. But in multi-domain infrastructure, GC is required for authentication. O Universal Group Membership Evaluation. Universal Group Membership which exists in a multi-domain forests works only with GC. O UPN Resolution. The users cannot log in to the domain using the username abc at example.com question 19 what is the difference between raid 1 and raid 5 answer oh raid 1 mirroring this raid configuration gives you maximum redundancy as the same data is written into two disks at a time but this solution will be costly as you always need to have disks double of what you actually require minimum two disks required oh raid 5 this raid is the most popular raid configuration this works on the parity principle minimum three disks required even if one disk fail the data of the failed disk can be calculated from the parity stored in the other two disks. Question 20. How to replace a failed RAID controller? Answer. This depends on the type of controller used. If you are using modern RAID controllers and are trying to replace with the same model, then the RAID should work without any issues as the RAID configuration or metadata is stored in the disk array. But you should ensure that you are using the same model from vendor or a model which is compatible with the failed controller.